A recent report by the World Bank indicates that Uganda has one of the world's youngest populations, with some of the highest unemployment rates. To survive, many graduates have taken up all sorts of odd jobs in the informal sector, with many relying on their entrepreneurial skills to earn a living. We meet Judith Ineku, a brave and focused young woman who has succeeded in the real estate sector. Traditionally, a preserve of old and rich men in African society. I've managed to move from uh, the nine houses that I started from Kampala into now Amuria district. Now I've moved into warehouses because now I'm constructing warehouses to support the local farmers to bring in their products. This is going to be a warehouse. So it is going to be stocking uh, the rice and then stocking ginats and millets. As you see, even the other block, the other side, that is the office block and it has so many offices in there. I'm going to have a marketer, I'm going to have a salesperson, I'm going to have drivers, I'm going to have dryers. Because, you know, as these, these foodstuffs come, they must first sort them and also they must first dry them properly before they are stocked in the stores. So as a result of me starting up uh, my businesses, I've employed other youth. And even here in Amuria, where we are right now, I employed the youth and the women because there are so many who are just looking for only 2,000 shillings for buying soap and sugar and paraffin. So in Kampala as well, I've employed, even including engineers, and of course even here, I've employed so many. There's no government that we're going to have in Uganda here that will solve the problem of unemployment level to zero. Even if me, myself, Judith, if I became the president of this country, I will not solve the problem of unemployment to zero level. I just want to encourage my fellow youth to get started. They should just take that risk to start.